Hello and welcome back to another video tutorial. So let's get back to our coding phase. Uh, last time I, f I forgot to add the um, different ball rates into the second comma box. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. So go down to data and uh, under items here. You can add the different ball rates you want in here as default values. Those are the two that I'll, I'll use. So I just add those two and click on OK. OK, after that you need to work on the init button. So double click on that. That will jump start the event handler. And for the init, uh, the first thing we need to do is um, grab the serial name from the serial port. So uh, let's uh, type out serial port, port names. Uh, equal set to uh, what's the combo box name? Uh, port combo box text. So that will grab the text uh, from the drop down combo box. The next thing we do is set the ball rate to port 1 uh, ball rate. Bald comma box text. Now we can open the serial port. This is a function, by the way, so you can use the parentheses. Okay. So now let's figure out uh, which buttons we should uh, enable and disable. So when we click on the knit button, we want to disable that button. So init button enable equals to false. And then we want to enable the other buttons, which are the uh, right button. Enable equals to true and the close button enable equals to true okay save this all right so we work in the knit now we can work on the uh, right go ahead and work on that so zero Serial port one right, and we want to grab the its uh, content from our text box, and that's the input uh, rich text box. What's our uh, input text box? in this lower case and underscore text and we want to uh, concatenate uh, the new uh, next new line symbol character so that's how we concatenate using the ampersand so that is it for the send button. Now let's work on the close button. Double click on that. So this is pretty straightforward. Zero port one dot close. Parentheses since the function. Now I'm gonna go up here and copy these three and basically uh, invert all the boolean here. False. This is just a safety feature so that uh, we minimize the uh, chance of people mistakenly click on the wrong button at the wrong time. 
Okay, let's let's see uh, how it works. Uh, did we work on this? Oh yeah, I forgot to bring this over. Okay. So right now this is disabled. We're gonna hit knit. That's gonna ena enable these two buttons. Uh, right now we don't have the uh, code for the uh, receiver side, so that's not gonna do anything. We can close though. Let's go and disable right and then yeah. Okay. So let's work on the final phase uh, in the next video, where we're gonna figure out how to do the threading part to invoke uh, an event handler to read from our buffer. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.